no. In the spirit of Christmas, we are having a board games evening and you are invited. Thank you very much to Clarendon Games for sponsoring this video. I'm really excited to be working with them. I will put all of the links to these games in the description. Okay. Well, I've got a little whiteboard. Yeah. Hello. Priorities is a party game of extreme honesty and absurd choices. You have a deck of cards which contain everyday items and topics. Five cards are laid down at random and one player has to rank them from love to loathe, writing their answers down on a whiteboard. Then the remaining players collectively try to decide which order the target player has chosen before the answers are revealed. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Good. Okay, I really like this. Money. Money. Dollar bills. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Moralizing. Right, okay. I'm trying to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> That's your favourite game. What and you mean? YouTube. <laughs> oh. Also, I think I money know. might be high on Jess's priorities. Oh, money's going to be yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Jess, just so you know, Taylor Swift is number five. You picked out of my house. No. <laughs> you know I'm going to do that to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Either Dungeons and Dragons or moralising. <laughs> moralising. Yeah. Oh my money. God. Money. <laughs> money is number one. Yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah. is number two. Taylor Swift is number three. I think Taylor Swift might be higher than well, I haven't I haven't really I've heard her rant as much as I've heard Amy rant in about this Taylor Swift. Taylor. I think money, YouTube, YouTube Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Dungeons and Dragons, and then just yeah. more like yeah. to be funny. <laughs> what did you go for, Miss Jessica? Get it Jessica? right. The answers are money. Yes. yes. <laughs> YouTube. Yes. Taylor Swift. Yes. My ex was a bit of like not a Dungeons and Dragons kind of guy, oh, but God. he wasn't so far off of it. So I have PTSD. So that had to be my last. Why did you say that he played Dungeons and Dragons? I don't know. I thought they dated though. Was yes. the uh, was the was very similar vibe? Yeah. Unfortunately, and Jess and I have quite a similar vibe. Unfortunately, what of males? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we both had that guy last night, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Very for good. the next set of cards. <laughs> Give it to I me. I know what one of them means. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Oh, cross. 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 <laughs> Controversial already. Okay. Topic of cross. the summer. Number two. Pooping. Number three. I love priorities. Feminism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number four. Kittens. Ah. This is a good one. Yeah. And number five, Friends, the TV show. I think Kittens will be quite high Hi. because she is obsessed with Paul. She's a cat. Oh, Not necessarily first, but definitely up that end. Yeah. Pooping yeah. is quite an essential body. I function. think, but yeah, you know, every you so gotta often, go, you gotta go. Every so often, the dairy but, has a little bit uh, of a. Mm. Is, is pooping a priority over crocs? Yes. And it's feminism. For you, it might Sorry. be. Yes. The thing is, we were both very, very close to getting crocs this summer. Have you seen the fluffy platform ones? Mm. Let, yeah, Kurt let, Liger. Let, that's Sorry. enough. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is enough. Feminism over crocs? Uh, mm, I, Call me right. controversial. How much do you think about Friends and TV show? I don't think she's fast. I, I, mean, I don't cannot think we've ever had a conversation about it, so I really? feel like it's just okay, something she's like, like it's not there. in my brain as a thing. I just um, don't think feminism is here. I don't think it's that high. Maybe it is though, because the thing is though, we're just, all like we're joking. Actually, but, like, in terms it is of world important. issues, feminism is the most important. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. But like in terms of game, it's like funny to say it isn't, but it is. What do you and it goes on pause regularly. If there was a protest or a kitten, which one oh, would it. you pick? I would do choose a kitten because I don't like crowds. I'm gonna say Poop. Surely poop is the last to be above crocs. Yeah, because you don't croc every day, but you do poop. You don't croc every day. Yeah. You have to poop, you choose I to think, croc. I think you <laughs> choose <laughs> yes. Pooping but, should be But wait, does she even have any crocs? No. No, no. I think pooping is higher than crocs. That's why I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. We forgot that you couldn't actually see the cards on the table, but our final order was kittens, feminism, pooping, crocs, and friends. You guys are awful friends. But I don't know! Feminism is number one. Oh no, my all boring boring. Things. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, I'd rather have equal rights over a kitten. Yeah, obviously. That's very neat. But like, okay. that's what her. You know what? I'll argue against that. I'll argue against that. Yeah, okay. Okay. It does make sense. Whatever. Then Carry we on. put kittens, kittens first. Kittens are number two. Right. 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 Then I put points. Crocs. But you don't fuck every day. Where are your crocs? Where are they? Where are 
they? Don't be so oh, well, I really want them, but they're just a bit expensive. And do you poo? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do, but well, I do not then. enjoy the action. <laughs> I would rather have a nice pair of Crocs than, than shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> And then friends is like, because I've never had an interest in a TV yeah. show. Number one, trying to remember your password. Number two, skinny jeans. Yeah. Number three, early mornings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four, Kim Kardashian. Number five, the group chat. It's on the up and down, pump it up. Why your feet are stomping and the jam is pumping. I think early mornings is going to be high. She always gets up at six o'clock in the morning to do three nights work. We that is absolutely true. But group chat, group chat, is I do think is number one. one. Skinny jeans. Amy is not a jeans person ever. Kim, Kim Kardashian might not be a priority for her, but skims were in the DMs yesterday. She's oh, oh, well, God. there you go. Well, I feel like this one might be a little bit harder. I think Amy's got her shit together enough that she doesn't need to try and remember her password. I mean, she, she just knows what they are. This might be a four card, please. <laughs> <laughs> she got, she, she, she could never find her debit she card. Would, she would have put Apple Pay on her phone because she, if she knew if she did, she would lose her debit card. And uh, then she put it, and then she did. Passwords, though, it's in the brain, and she's, for the most part, got a brain. I would just like to help you out a bit. I remind you what happened to me last year. I'm. I just feel very sad. Yes. <laughs> oh, so, so actually, <laughs> it's up here before the group chat. She's she ain't getting sad. <laughs> early mornings. Kim Kardashian skinny jeans. Yeah, because Kim Kim was in the DMs. I still feel like the group chat would be number one. I think. Mm. Hold Mommy on. Hold on. Jo are, are we going to have a last <laughs> minute reshuffle, or do we think that this? If it's a unanimous decision, I don't mind going with number two. As the group chat. I'm confused whether early mornings is going to be ahead of group chat. I don't think it will be. She'll get up for the group chat. <laughs> she does get up for the group chat. She gets up for you every morning. <laughs> she gets up for Amy really. lives her life for you. <laughs> In first place, trying to remember your past. Yes. Yes. Now, the reason for this, let me justify it. It's not that I don't care about you all, but I'd still speak to you separately if I wasn't in the group chat. Last hey, year yes. my account was hacked, it was like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It's your job. If I got locked out again and it was because I forgot my password, I'd be so that. angry with myself. I just yes. yes. remember yes. yes. Got it. Group chat, number two. Yes. Yay! Yay. Okay. Early mornings, number yes. four. Yes. Number four is Kim Kardashian. Yes. She's in the DMs. Yes. She's in the DMs. We Do you right? We're yes. right. And then we're right. Passing these over to you. The cards are a hundred pounds. Ah, uh, number one. <laughs> TikTok. Soggy footwear. Mm. A lukewarm delivery. And Love, Love Island. Island. The priority of which Love Island sits is different at different points of the year. Yeah, that is true. In summer, like at different points of your life. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, you're not eligible. So deep, no. <laughs> When it's on, Love Island consumes about 10% of oh my thoughts Oh my god, it's day. awful. <laughs> it's literally, it, when it ends, it feels like you're Especially, free. you know the worst bit is when the boys are about to come back from Castro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah! And you're like, oh my god, this is going to be so horrible. Secondhand anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's think about this. TikTok. No TikTok more. first because you can earn more than £100 from TikTok. £100 yes. off to TikTok. I think I Love think Island is actually going to be like quite that. high because... We had the Love Island party, which was pretty iconic. Abby does and love also, a bit of a meme. She's, she's met mm. Toby a few times. Yeah. So she's quite a bit of she's Chloe quite Toby. Toby. I, I think, I think Toby. that's quite high. Maybe not the top, but it's certainly up there. I'd say delivery would be at the bottom. I don't. Abby doesn't order food a lot. Can I argue that food is more important than soggy food? Oh, work? definitely. But Abby goes on a lot of dog walks. And so when you're shooting, you're, you're more on your feet than you are eating. You spend more time on your feet yeah, than you are Yeah, but she's not shooting every second of her life. <laughs> she's also not shooting in Would wet. Would you prioritise footwear over food? Would you prioritise footwear over food? Specifically de Deliveroo. But it's just, that's the only food on this option. Yeah. yeah. Deliveroo equals food to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lukewarm takeaway. I reckon, yeah, I reckon, change that around. Interesting. I would put Love Island above 100 quid. You can make money off Love Island. True. Um, are we looking at TikTok? I think so. Love Island, £100, a lukewarm delivery, soggy footwear. I shamelessly put Love Island as number one. Yeah! Then number two is TikTok. But number three is then 172 so a lukewarm delivery. Oh! You put a delivery on a lukewarm delivery for £100. 
Oi, listen. All right. Yeah. Sometimes I'm hungry. <laughs> you like prioritize getting your delivery to you quickly and sufficiently or is it like i would eat a warm de a lukewarm delivery like is it like well, i really prioritize my delivery coming well and proportioned also on the other hand how big's the delivery to the is end, it over 100 pounds in value maybe but yeah, if someone yeah. went to me you can have a delivery <laughs> but it has gone a little bit cold or you, or you can have 100 pounds if it was literally put in front of me, I actually think I probably would take the food. If someone there said to me, do you want, there, maybe. do you want like 100 the next day? day? No worries, I'll take it. No, no, no I don't want to support that. Lukewarm Nando's. Give me 100 quid, I'm going downstairs and buy carbonara from the shop. Thank you. From the shop. The next priority is 100 pounds. And then soggy footwear. Okay, so we got that one right. We once walked into a room and Toby from Love Island was there. Yes. And Abby went twice. Oh my God. It's Chloe here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did, I saw him and was like, and Chloe's like, got to be about this somewhere. <laughs> but especially in, in the group chat, you were then like, Chloe's boyfriend is here. And we were like, how are you and Toby? Oh, that is a good one for you. A smashed avocado on yeah. toast. Drama. Drama. And we all live for drama. Cheese. <laughs> Flirting. Interesting. Noisy kids. Do you have your spreadable cheddar at five o'clock every day? I do. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Every yeah, have you seen it? Maria orders smashed like avocado on toast everywhere, everywhere. wherever yeah. we go. It's true. When no. we first pulled out drama, I was like, hate drama, and then I thought about it, I was like, no, no. no Maria, Maria loves drama. I like when it was I love drama. So I love from a drama. We like Maria loves a scrap. Every yeah. time something's going on, she's like, who do I need for scrap? I, I think cheese is number one. I really do think it is. Spreadable cheese at 5 p.m. every day. The spreadable Cheddar is very important to Maria. Yeah. I feel like Maria likes drama more than flirting because there's I don't more think drama in life. I think flirting's going to be that high. I think it depends on how she's thought about drama. See, I think I've my answer to this will be flirt. different to um, what we what think. What we think. Be. Like, I literally nearly tweeted something about flirting yesterday. Hilarious. I don't understand that because, like, who oh, do you I flirt with? It. Oh. <laughs> it's the eyes. Waiters? Yeah. Right, noisy food's definitely in the bottom. Noisy definitely in the top. Cheese so it's the three in the middle. Okay. I think flirting will actually be quite high. Do I really you? think these yes. three could be in any order. But she loves a Not smashed as... avo on toast. She does. She I just, the thing that's frustrating me is that I think flirting and drama might be there and smashed avocado on no, toast. No, no, no. Surely it's not no, that no, hard. No, surely no. smashed avo would not be. Can I be controversial? And come up here. <gasps> nah, no, I don't you think cannot. so because she has cheese every day. Every day. The avocados are not every day. Maybe. Not I think with the way food over. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Now that's about her being logic. hungry. So let's prioritise cheese, smash avocado on yes, toast. Yes. Yeah. Flirting or drama? I think the flirting probably comes before the drama. I reckon flirting. We do, yeah. we do like, she likes a little scrappy do. Yeah, she does. I think, flirting. based on the conversation yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Um, flirting, flirting is, it's on the brain. It's, it's on the, the brain. brain. Number one Come on. is cheese. Yes! yes. yes. Number two <laughs> is smashed avocado. Yes! I feel it. Priorities are correct. <laughs> Number three is drama. Oh! Oh! Number four. It's flirting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And number five is noisy kids. Wordsmithery is simple. Players split into two teams to guess the meanings of obscure words. If your team guesses correctly, you win two points. If not, you are given multiple choice answers for the chance to win one point. The word is trenchant. Why <laughs> not spelling on that? T-R-E-N-C-H-A-N-T. Yeah, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to guess that, so I think we're going to have to do it off of the multiple choice. Okay, option one is of language or a person, incisive and cutting. Number two, open to new ideas. Number three, laying traps for one's enemies. I feel like that's a curveball because it says trench. Enemies. Do you think? I have no idea. You can see the word. B, please. It is oh, no. uh, of language or a person, incisive and custom. We have Poppin J. I ain't got a clue. Uh, like, no, no, no thoughts. Let's get it. Like, I think it's happy. a bird. Oh, what sort of bird? Uh, like a Poppin J, you look Poppin J. Being happy, like vibe, right? Maybe it's like Mary Poppins. Maybe yeah. it's like a bird with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, with a fat bag. Yes, a poppin' jay is a bird with an umbrella. Well, none of them are correct. No, it's well, so, 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 so The first definition, a vain person. Second, 
a watchtower constructed in the jungle to allow sentries to see over the treetops. Well, there you go. Number three, a scented silk cushion. Fuck off, no, it's fake. The word pop and J, it does not give me jungle vibes. Really? But does it not give you clock but vibes? Uh, have word it's jungles up, it's like... up tall for yeah. everyone to see. Pop in J. Look, like, come in. When you think about jungles and how the white people went and colonised everything, that sounds sort of like something the Victorians would stick up in the sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but does it not sound Sorry. like... There's what? no clock. Sure. It gives you clock vibes. Uh, it's a tower. It's a tower. There's no clock on it. No. There's a tower There's not a clock. It's a tower. It's a It's basically cool. looking. It's just yes. like a... Like a somewhere you look out of. <laughs> or even a vain person, like, oh, she's I such a But that would be like, there's other words for that. Yeah, but there's other words for lots of things. I feel like if it was a description well, of a person, you would have heard of it. I'd say a cushion if it was okay, me. What would you say? I'm going to go for the watchtower, but we'll go for the pillow. We'll go, go for cushion. Okay. <gasps> well, you're wrong. Oh, oh the watchtower. It? It's a, a vain person. person. Oh! And, the, and it's it's a hyphenated word, and it's fo as in f a u x hyphen n a i f. Fo is so naive, and is naive some sort of nice. naive. So if it's if it's fo, and then if it is naive, some sort of fake naivety, which would be people like being a double yeah, like being stupid on purpose kind of thing. I that's would say that's thing. correct. Is it actually? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it says naive in an affected way. Uh, in an effect affected way. It says, in Agatha Christie's novels, Detective Miss Marple lures murders into a full sense of security like a double bluff. And he yeah. said double bluff. Antidilovian. Oh, antidilovian. <laughs> antidilovian. Oh, or diluvian, actually. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, no. Antidiluvian. Anti... Oh, okay, with an E. It's, it might yeah. not be, like, yeah. the opposite of. But the thing like Ian at the end, or Vian, mm. would be like Genovian, like from Princess yeah, Diaries. Like, yeah. so like, 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 like a collective group. Like yeah, collective so it's probably like country, something. Country, organisation, group of people. Thing. Well, Deluvian is obviously a thing. Mm. So what is Deluvian? But unless mm. anti yeah. doesn't mean yeah, anti. Yeah, it doesn't mean anti. So let's go with anti being opposite. Against mm -hmm. the people What's of Deluvian? Deluvian. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's against the people of Deluvian. Yes, it actually is. <laughs> uh, that's wrong. <laughs> the country next to Genovia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so your options are yeah. so old fashioned as to be ridiculous, or occurring before the Renaissance. Or perfect and untouched. I antediluvian. Oh, so I, right? I, I could picture someone like. Yeah, I would know. be. I would lead towards number one. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Locking that in. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. You are actually correct. Whee! Sorry about that brief interlude. We just had to go to the theatre. <laughs> a little quick trip to the theatre. But now we're back. Minus Maria. Sadly, she went to join the Heather's. <laughs> <laughs> She's, She's going to be on stage away. tomorrow. Yeah. She went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but but we are here. And obviously we were already on a team with Maria, so we'll yes. just split now it's down. Now even. Yeah, yeah. Now it's even. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Game on. The word is Argo. Mm -hmm. Spelt A-R-G-O-T. I've definitely heard this word before, but I don't know where. The T on the end is throwing me, I won't lie. Oh. Estragos. Do you want to have multiple choice? No, unfortunately, you're not allowed multiple choice until you make a guess. God, until you make a guess. A gun. <laughs> a <laughs> gun? <laughs> what? <laughs> it came to your head. <laughs> right, your multiple choice answers are. I guess it's not wrong then. That's yeah. wrong. Yeah. Number one, the slang of a particular clique. 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 Number two, a metric ton of gold. Number three, a slave. I want to say the gold one. The first thing that sprung to mind is that, you know, when you've got like different names for all the bottles of champagne, when they come in like different sizes, you get like a Nebuchadnezzar and stuff like that. Yeah. For some reason I thought, yeah, a metric ton of gold could be called Argo, couldn't okay. it? Incorrect. Ah! It is the slang of a particular clique. Really? So for example, Clink. the police Clink. are called the pigs in the Argo of criminals. Oh. Right. Argo. Okay. Argo. Argo. <laughs> So, Vista, like a house. <laughs> what? A Vista is like a view. Scenic. Um, incorrect. So, your Not multiple choice well. options are number one, having ambitions to lead, in brackets, of a convicted criminal, 
close brackets, tending to relapse into crime. Number three, lacking tact. Mm. What does lacking tact mean? Like lacking... So, stick. Like tactics. Yeah, like, so like, I really don't know. Out of three, one, two, pick three. one you think exactly. it's really... Yeah. Three, two, one, two. two. We're going for two. Let's go for two. Did you go for two? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's actually right. Well, hey! <laughs> Very, do you know, very respectful of you both. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was ready to flip over. Good game. In Jabberjaw, a member of your team is given cards with alliterative phrases. They have to describe the phrase without saying the two words which start with the same letter. When the team guesses correctly, the speaker moves on to the next card. You have one minute on the timer per round. Um, the person who took over the plane um, was... Not very nice. The... <laughs> Terrorist? No, not quite. That's not nice. Similar to train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, go along that. Terrible. No. <laughs> no, 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 because it's not a terrorist. <laughs> but that, like, they've got a similar vibe about them. <laughs> so the person who's... Yeah, yeah. Horrible. Was, yes, right. Yes. Hey! Um, the person whose, like, house it is, yeah. not necessarily this one, um, vacuumed. Hostess Hoovered. Uh, uh, homeowner Hoovered. No, 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 so you were kind of right, but just take off the end. <laughs> the home... No, 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 before that. <laughs> nice. Hoovered. Yes. The day before Tuesday was something that you would keep in your mind. Monday memory. Memory Monday. The Monday no, memories. No, no, no. It, memory it, it was, Monday. Yeah, but it, was, it wasn't a memory. <laughs> I love my memory Mondays. <laughs> The yellow stuff was <laughs> not stodgy. You're gonna have to get the custard. Yeah, was <laughs> was not stodgy. Was, uh, creamy. Yes. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Another one, quick. Right. The oh, um, <laughs> the something is red. Um, red. <laughs> another word for red. What? Scarlet. No. Burgundy. No. No word for red. <laughs> uh, like blood is red. You're gonna have to give me one. Um, the thing that you have in a room in a house sometimes that tells the time. The clock? Yeah. What is... Crimson. Yes! <laughs> we chopped food. <laughs> food fight. We fed the foxes. <laughs> we chopped food. <laughs> Uh, something that keeps you cool are fan. large. Yeah. The, the fans are <laughs> fat. <laughs> <laughs> In your. <laughs> In your <laughs> it's not a jumper. In your. What? It's uh, not a jumper. A coat. No. A top. No. <laughs> Another word for a top. Um. <laughs> Um, um, T-shirt. Yes. Um, uh, it's emotion. <laughs> it's emotion. You tired? No. Tim you, timid? No. You dip to a pie. <laughs> Round the edges, you. <laughs> you what? This is what? such a weird direction. <laughs> 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 you have to do it to your shirt when you go Tops. to work. Yes. <laughs> You're done. Shirt. You're done. Time out. You're done. And the place where you go to learn is closed. The school is shut. Yes. Yeah. Wow. The thing that you put in, like a, so you put it in a car and you put it in machines. It like, no, it like makes yes. it greasy. Is not, oil is not young. Oil old. Yeah. The the <coughs> primates. What chimpanzees? Yeah, the monkeys are are. We don't know where they are. The monkeys are. They are. They have gone. <laughs> oh, come on. Mute. They're <laughs> lost. They're 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 lost. They're
<laughs> that was brilliant. I loved every second of that. This yeah. was my favourite game out of the oh, three. Yeah, me too. No. Um, the pressure just made it so good. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you want more videos like this, let us know because we are well up for it. I'm well up for it. Me too. Um, like and subscribe! Yeah. Thank you very much to Candy Games for sponsoring this video, my first ever sponsored video on this channel, Yay! which I'm so excited about and Girl genuinely, boss. like board games are my absolute jam and I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah. We will see you very soon. Cheers. Goodbye, it's time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>